In this video, I'm going to review two home charging units, the Juice Box 40 by Enel X and then the ChargePoint Home Charger, which they just call the Home Charger. Uh, this is also a 40 amp charger. So let's get into it. All right, the Juice Box 40 um, is a pretty sizable unit. This is the corded version, plugs into a 1450. You can also get this in a NEMA 650. Um, this is the 40 amp one. Most of the plug-in ones are limited to uh, 40 amps and it's got a two fit cord. So you can see that you've got some wiggle room on like where you can plug in depending on where your uh, box is. It's pretty versatile in that way. Um, and then it's got a built-in uh, cable storage, which is nice. And it's got about 25 or 24 feet of cable with it. Uh, the end uh, plugs right into this storage area here. And uh, the, this is plastic. It's got a pretty good grip right here. It's, um, I would say it feels like a medium build. It's a little bit lightweight. And this is, uh, the clip is, it's okay. Um, you do have to make sure that it's, that it's right in there. Um, it sticks kind of straight out and it's also rigid so this doesn't move. Um, you can mount it pretty high like I have right now and um, then you're able to uh, keep the cables off the ground even if you don't wind it too tight, which I don't like to wind it too tight. This is the uh, ChargePoint home charger. This is a smaller apparatus. Cable uh, storage is built into this unit. It's nice and sleek. It's very low profile. Um, and one of my favorite things is this rotating receptacle. So it's really easy to get this in. And then when you let go, it, uh, it lays flat so that you have this nice flat profile, which is great if you're kind of tight on the, in space, wherever you are. This one can get knocked around a little bit. This one can lay a little bit flatter. Also the LED um, indicators are built behind this, uh, behind this rotating ball receptacle. The LED for the juice box is right here. Um, this one has an adjustable LED uh, intensity. So if you have it outside, you can put it at maximum brightness. If you have it inside like I do, this is at 40% brightness. This one I don't believe is um, adjustable. So it's fine for inside. I, it might be a little dim for outside. Um, and I do have some clips of that on. Right now I have this one plugged in and I only have one plug. Um, so, and then maybe just compare these two. So, this one is, it's, you have to be a little bit careful making sure it's in, but once it's in, it's not going to go anywhere. This one, because it angles down, if you brush up against that, it's going to fall off, which I have done. Um, but overall, I do prefer this one. And then, uh, this spring mechanism on the charge point seems to be just, it's a little bit firmer and, um, I don't know, I kind of like that better. This one is a little bit more, they're both plastic, but um, I kind of like this one better. It's also not quite as long, so. All right, that's it for um, X-year features. Oh, and then the cord on the charge point is um, quite a bit shorter, so uh, that's also a thing, and then So you only get about this much, uh, which is not a whole lot less. Well, actually, it is a lot less than this. it's about like it's like 16. It's like six inches less than this one. I'll plug in this one so you can see the lights. <clears throat> Try not to fry myself. Yeah, there. So there's the yellow light on this one. All right, so let's talk about um, installation. So for the juice box uh, installation, I think this means that it's still setting up. I'm going to unplug this. I don't want anything plugged in right now. Installation for this is um, a little challenging. Every time I do a video, it's hard to... The way it works is there's a plate that mounts to the wall and then it's got these holes. This plate is very secure. And then it's got these holes that these receptacle screws um, go onto. And then also it has 
a locking feature. So you can lock this to your wall, take the key out, and then somebody can't take it off your wall if you've got it mounted outside or something like that. But basically that plate kind of insets to here, but it's so difficult to like line it up. I've had so much difficulty with this thing. It went on okay when I first installed it, and then ever since then, it's not worked. I don't know why. So the top one is in, but that middle one is not. The middle one is so hard to get in. And then we'll do um, the app setup afterwards. Uh, this one, the charge point is a little different. So the charge point is um, quite a bit easier to install. So there's a groove up here um, that just latches onto a screw, really easy to do. Um, you don't, it's, it's not a plate on the back or anything like that. This part comes, uh, this part comes unassembled. Um, it's easy to take that little latch plate off. And then um, the plug is already pre-wired with a cable clip. And then for some reason, the cable to your vehicle uh, comes uninstalled. Maybe it's easier to pack it that way, I don't know. But there's really clear directions on, it just goes up this, up this hole, and then there's three of these wires that plug into these receptacles. Um, and then you flip down these white switches, super easy. And then there's a, um, uh, a plug that goes to the circuit boards, I think that powers the circuit boards or the controllers or something like that. Um, and that's it, it's really easy to do, make sure it's not, not, not wired up, make sure it's not um, like in the outlet. Um, and then it has this little clip, uh, cable clip that goes over this um, little neck here, and then that's it. So you do that. Um, I have no like home building abilities and I was able to do it really easily. It's not hard at all. And then you do these little uh, coin uh, slot twists um, and then that goes on there super easily. <laughs> and then this plate is quite tough. Not tough, but it's, uh, it's very tense. And so just gotta make sure that it's, it really snaps on quite tight. But it does snap on easily and boom, it's installed. Uh, another cool thing is that it actually comes with uh, the, la the lag screws. It comes with the, um, whatever you call this, it's a 3 8 lug nut driver for your, um, for your drill. And it comes with the appropriate size um, uh, drill bit. So A plus for supplies for this thing. Yeah, and that's it. Let's talk about setup. So I've got this one already here, so what you would do, uh, you plug it in and then you pull up the charge point app on your phone and then uh, while it's blinking yellow, um, you go down to home charger in the charge point app and then select connect or something like that or set up or something and then um, it will connect to this. If it doesn't connect, go back out of the app, maybe unplug it, replug it in. Um, so. As long as you're not too far off the timing, um, it, it finds the charger just fine. And two things you're going to need are the amp, the breaker size that your circuit is, and your Wi-Fi uh, information. With the breaker size, this one will ask if you're on a 40 or a 50 amp circuit. You can't change that later once you set it up. Uh, you have to remove this from uh, the app and then reset it up. Um, you don't have to take it off your wall. but. Uh, it only asks you once for what your circuit breaker size is. So pretty easy to set up. I'll go over uh, app features uh, afterwards. So in terms of app setup for the juice box, it's a little bit more complicated. This thing, when you plug it in, I think it goes to a blue light or something like that. And then it creates a Wi-Fi network called JuiceNet something something. And then using an app called JuiceNet on your phone, you connect to the JuiceNet Wi-Fi on your phone. And then that's how the app finds the device. And then you go through the setup 
Um, I think you need your Wi-Fi password and because it will switch to your Wi-Fi. Uh, and then that's about it. You don't have to specify your breaker, I don't think, uh, up front. But it is kind of a weird setup process. And I think it took me once or twice to make sure that it connected. Um, actually, it may have done it on the first time. Uh, you just have to find the network that it creates and then it's fine. So overall, it might take a, an attempt or two, but both of these connected okay. Let's go through app features. So the charge point. Um, the cool things about the charge point app is that you're using the same app that has the charge point charge network all over the US and I don't know, other countries as well probably. Um, so you don't have to have a second app. Um, if you're already using the ChargePoint app to find chargers uh, while traveling, you've already got the app um, on your phone. Um, you can do time of use, so you can set it manually what hours you want it to charge or not charge based on cost of electricity. Or since if it has your address, it can look up or you can select what your specific um, residential um, power company plan is, and then it will know automatically what times to charge on weekdays, what times to charge on uh, weekends. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's very instantaneous. When you don't have anything, any specific commands set up on the app, the vehicle uh, is in charge, and this plays uh, very nicely with when the vehicle wants to do something. Um, or you can have, so for example, like vehicles can have uh, time of use scheduling and all that kind of stuff. Uh, this plays just fine with those. Um, or you can not program any of that on your vehicle and you can just have it on here. Uh, you can start and start and stop charging uh, on this app, which you would expect. Um, although earlier today when I tried to stop the charge, um, it didn't actually work. It didn't connect very well or something. I don't know. Um, but otherwise, it's, it's, very, it's pretty simple. Um, the one thing that is missing that is a bummer is that you cannot adjust the power or the amps once you've set this up. So once you tell it like, oh, you have a 40 amp beaker breaker, it's gonna charge at a max of like 32 or 34 amps and you can't change it. And, and um, you can lower it in your vehicle if you wanna charge less, but you can't, you can't go above that. Um, and similarly, if you wanna stretch it a bit, I have a, I have a 40 amp circuit, but when I selected a 50 amp breaker, um, then it automatically charges at 40 to 42 amps, um, which is okay, but I like to keep it at 40 or below, and I can't I can't alter it um, on the on the app. I can't say like just charge at 40. I can do it in the vehicle, but I have to do it every time that I plug in. So that's the one thing that I wish this app had is just like let me tell you how much I want you to charge at, and then do that every time. Otherwise, it's great. All right, juice box. Uh, th th as far as I do know, they do not have uh, a widespread um, charging network. So if you have, you know, Electrify America app and a ChargePoint app, or if you have a Tesla app, if you have a Tesla, you're going to need another app to control this thing. Um, so and so the setups, the setup was a little bit quirky on this. This one has a little bit more features in its app, but it's a little, it's. Um, I guess it's not as slick, I would say, or as polished. One thing that you can do is you can specify in the app um, what amps you want it to charge at, and you can alter it in single digits. So 40, 39, you know, 43, 48, 61. This one doesn't go that high, but um, so that's really cool. And it will stay at that so that you don't have to reset it every time. Well, this also has time of use. You can, you can put in it, your time of use manually, your hours that you want it to charge. You can put it in. If you give it your address, it will it will also like take your power company's rate plan and do time of use accordingly. It's got a lot of information like for every charging instance, like how much power you used, how long it was. I don't actually know if ChargePoint does that because I didn't look that closely. I initially only had this box and then I also got this one because there was one feature on this one that was driving me crazy and that was when the vehicle is set to a time of use or this is set to a time of use and I plugged in I didn't want it to charge so the vehicle is saying don't charge yet or something this didn't know how to play with that and so it would give a yellow flashing um, as if to say like something's wrong with the vehicle I can't charge right now I don't know why I could get around that by going into the app starting the charge 
and then stopping the charge, and then it would know, oh, the charge would stop. It's not that something is wrong. Or going into the app and saying, no, use time of use. Um, although even that was kind of iffy. Every time I plugged it in, I would either have to do something manual on the app, or I would just have to like be okay with this constantly flashing light that something was wrong and there wasn't. I just want to be able to plug it in and walk away like I do with my Teslas. ChargePoint lets me do that. So that's why I uh, got this one and that's why I have the opportunity to, um, to uh, compare these two because I'll probably be returning the juice box. I didn't know about this uh, rotating receptacle until I got this one, but this is actually the second feature that I really love. And then the reason I have these two, this is $700, this is $750, is because my power company has a rebate um, on each of these for $500. I suspect these used to be $500. Now they're higher, um, but so that's why I'm only looking at these two. Yeah, so I think I'll be going with this one. And um, yeah, there it is. Juice box, Enolex 40, charge point home charger, 40 amp. Actually, this one I think goes up to 50 amp. This one does not go to 50 amp. And there you are.